Now let's bring it back home. We have a very important story to touch on. The Minister of Information and Culture, Alaji Lai Mohammed, has said that all members of the APC in Kwara State, in the camp of the Senate President, <clears throat> Dr. Bukala Saraki, holding various federal government appointments, are to resign immediately or also risk being sacked. Recall that six members of the House of Representatives from Kwara State were among those who dumped the party for the PDP during the week last week. Now, the Minister of Information and Culture, who gave the directive at a press conference in his country, home. Uh, he told local government, sorry, <coughs> he also expressed the intention of the federal government to dissolve the senator, Bukola Saraki, led APC in Kwara State under the chairman of Ishola Balogunfulani, earlier adopted by the national chairman, Comrade, Comrade Adams Ashiomale, and conduct another Congress. Wow, Chukudi, it's as if this thing is never going to end. Me, yeah, I thought, okay, we're moving into a new week. Hopefully this week, fingers crossed, we're not going to see anything like this, but bam. In Nigeria, it is action and drama. Mm -hmm. And you need to understand that if we go by INEC guidelines, August the 18th, parties can begin, you know, organizing primaries. Now, it is politicking in full swing. Interestingly, it's been reported in the news that 12 lawmakers in Benue State have allegedly served Governor Samuel Otom an impeachment notice. And it has also been reported that the Speaker of the Kano State House of Assembly has been impeached and replaced with somebody who was in the position before. Now, the truth is, we play the politics of the benefactor. Whether you like it or not, for these people, it's not about change. It's not about the average Nigerian. I always insist that there are two classes of Nigerians. The suffering masses who are united by hunger, poverty, pain, sorrow, destruction, and the rest of them. And the political elites who can crisscross, you know, PDP boxers, PDP singlets, APC Agbada, then in the afternoon, APC Agbada, APC, PDP singlets, PDP boxers, they just switch political allegiance, and that is what it is for them. And what we as Nigerians, or a lot of the electorates do, is to foolishly follow these people from one political party to the other. The truth is, like I always say, if we always do it as well, it is not my portion, we will continue to wallow in abject poverty and penury. What we must do as a people is to say that only those who are passionate about service, only those who are going to put their life on the line in the interest of the Nigerian citizenry will find their way in office. And we must begin to educate ourselves. All of these, you know, these divisive moves that they use, using ethnicity, religion, and political affiliation to divide us, and we keep fooling ourselves. Come on. The big man who is, in the, who is under the umbrella will receive an alert at the end of this month. You know, for these people, they, are, they don't count Saturday and Sunday in, in their own months. You, the poor man, you are suffering, and you are fighting a fellow poor man that is hungry. Why the big man, you know, send his children to the best schools, send our children to the best schools, they get married at the end of the day, and continue to perpetuate themselves in power while we suffer. But wait, what, Chukudi, is he right in doing what he's doing by asking them to resign? Based that is on what I'm telling you. What is right? What is not right? The man is only protecting his interest. He is protecting his interest. Now, look at the political calculation. The leader of the APC in Kwara State, Dr. Bukola Saraki, has, by every indication, people are saying that, you know, he has one leg in the APC and one leg in the PDP. Yeah. Now, what the Honorable Minister is trying to do is trying to entrench himself as the leader of the APC in the state because the people who were duly recognized by the former chairman of the APC, Chief John Oegu, and also the present chairman, Commander Adam Sojomale, are people who are allegedly loyal to, um, to Dr. Bukola Saraki. So what he wants to do is hold control of the party structure. I always say it is a struggle for structure. To eradicate must, that loyalty. That is what he's trying to do. It is not in our interest. This will not affect the price of tomato now. Let him do what he wants to do. Let them do what they want to do. It is not our business. What we must do is know that irresponsible people, incompetent people, people who have no idea at all, will not find their way in government. And the only way we we'll do that is beginning to participate in the process of government and governance. It's not just about February 16th, March the 2nd, go and get your PVC, we'll come out and vote. Now we must begin to ask questions, arm ourselves with all the information that we need, so that when somebody comes to tell you, God called me to serve you, we'll tell the person, God does not have a landline, you he doesn't call anybody. Funnily enough, I was sitting with someone on Saturday who said, there's no way I'm getting my PVC. That was even the point. And I said to the person, I was like, that I'm actually very disappointed that you th that you actually thought you could sit here for the past 20 minutes and open your mouth to complain about anything. There are 17 or 18 days left now to get one's PVC. This can't continue. This is so embarrassing. Actually, it very is a true. huge embarrassment. And at the end of the day, are we not the ones that employ these people? Very so true. let us put ourselves back into that position. The office of the citizen is the highest office in the land, and we cannot continue to let them override that. We need to actually stand our ground. Very true. And quick one. What we need to understand is, looking at Nigeria's population demographics, over 60% are 30 years and under. Just imagine what our parents have gone through with respect to suffering as a result of failed leadership. 
we are going to go through three times more of that. And we are going to spend a lot of time of our years. I mean, we are still 30 and we are doing shakara. By the time we are 70 and we continue in this suffering, we will not be able to stand straight. Hopefully, we will not continue in the suffering in the next few years, but it depends on what we do today and the decisions that we make. Are we going to get our cards, our PVCs? Are we going to participate in the process? These are the questions you should ponder on. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.